Hello everyone and welcome back to the Tackle Show YouTube channel. My name is Ashley and today I'm at the OFAH Mario Carlucci Heritage Center and behind me is the Ontario Record Fish Wall. This wall contains replicas of all of Ontario's record fish. Today I'll be focusing on the Atlantic salmon. We'll be talking about identification, habitat, diet, and much much more so stay tuned. All of the information for today's video can be found online at tackleshare.com resources, where there are fish fact sheets ready for you to download if you want to refer back to all the details I'm going to cover in the video, so let's get to it. The Atlantic salmon has an elongated body like other Salmonidae species, which includes trout and salmon. The body has a very dark back with silver sides and a white belly when in fresh water. There are also small dark spots on the backs and sides that are often X-shaped. There will be few or no spots on the tail or other fins as you will see in other Salmonidae species. The Atlantic salmon also has two to three large spots on their gill cover or operculum. It is also important to note their mouth ends at their eyes, unlike brown trout, a species that looks very similar. When the anal fin is depressed, the leading edge extends well beyond the anal fin base. Atlantic salmon are native to Lake Ontario as well as on the east coast of Canada, but have been introduced to Lake Huron and some other rivers. They spend most of their life in the deeper waters of the Great Lakes, then migrate to connected streams to spawn. In river environments, they inhabit rocky runs and pools and prefer colder temperatures. Most fish mature between ages three to five and typically spawn in the fall, but migrations do occur from spring to fall. Unlike Pacific salmon species that die shortly after spawning, Atlantic salmon are repeat spawners and return to the lakes or ocean until the next spawning season, often spawning several years in a row before dying. Adult Atlantic salmon feed exclusively on other fish species. Their favorites include rainbow smell and alewife. Juveniles feed on aquatic insects called benthic invertebrates. Atlantic salmon live up to nine years old and can grow between 25 to 30 inches long. The Ontario record weight is 24.3 pounds and 35.1 inches long. To catch an Atlantic salmon, using a charter fishing guide increases your chances of success. During spawning time, they concentrate around large rivers. Float fishing is a popular method among river anglers. Try trolling in summer months with spoons or plugs, as these are proven techniques to catch a salmon. Always use a heavy action rod with strong fishing line and a large net to safely land them. As mentioned, Atlantic salmon are native to Lake Ontario. They traveled from the Atlantic Ocean to Lake Ontario, Lake Iroquois at the time, 12,000 years ago at the end of the last ice age. They soon became very abundant in this body of water, and for thousands of years, indigenous people respectfully and sustainably harvested Atlantic salmon as an important food resource. Once European settlement began in Ontario, the harvest of Atlantic salmon grew exponentially, being pulled out of the lake by the barrel fall. Along with this new overharvesting of Atlantic salmon, settlers also drastically changed the environment. The water was now becoming polluted and deforestation was rampant, causing turbidity and the temperature of the water to increase. Along with this, settlers were also now building dams, blocking important migration routes for Atlantic salmon so they could no longer reach their spawning grounds. With all these factors interacting, by 1898, the Atlantic salmon was now extirpated from Lake Ontario, meaning they were locally extinct from the lake. The Lake Ontario Atlantic Salmon Restoration Program, also known as Bring Back the Salmon, is a partnership between the OFAH and the MNRF and over 40 other conservation partners. Goal of the program is to restore a self-sustaining population of Atlantic salmon back into the Lake Ontario watershed. The lead sponsor of the program is Ontario Power Generation. The program has four components to help restore the population. Fish production and stocking, water quality and habitat enhancement, outreach and education, and research and monitoring. To learn more about this program, you can watch our other video where Ben Tensky, the program coordinator, goes into more detail or visit their website. I'll put both links in the description below and a card to the video in the upper corner of the screen. If you would like to see footage of fish migrating through fish ladders in the Ganaraska and Credit River, please visit Riverwatch daily. You may get lucky and see an Atlantic salmon swimming upstream like the footage shown in this video. The link to Riverwatcher will also be in the description. All right, everyone, that is everything about Atlantic Salmon. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you learned something about Atlantic Salmon and check out the Bring Back the Salmon program along with River Watch. Please feel free to let us know if you've caught an Atlantic Salmon and leave a comment if you have any other fishing tips for catching an Atlantic Salmon. Also, tell Bring Back the Salmon if you've caught an Atlantic Salmon in Lake Ontario or its tributaries. As citizen scientists, anglers provide important information on catch locations of these fish. Biologists cannot effectively monitor Lake Ontario's tributaries along their entire length, and Atlantic salmon may be mixed in with other migratory salmonoids. So information from anglers like yourself 
help supplement data collected by biologists. If you like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe because we have many more videos detailing Gamefish in Ontario coming your way. And you won't want to miss those, so tap the little notification bell. Thank you and see you all next time.